Hey everybody, it's Matt from You and Your Horror Movies, and welcome to another end of the month haul. I was going to do a top 10 Tuesday, but I realized with my Amicus collection, I don't have that many. So I said, you know what, let me do the end of the month haul instead. I think you guys will enjoy this uh, probably better than a top 10 that I was going to think of. But anyway, uh, we're going to do the DVDs first, and then the Blu-rays. I have one VHS to show off, and that is... Uh, the Hi8 VHS. I won this from a contest from Mr. Tony of the Dead. Thank you very much. I gotta find where my VHS player is right now because I think I have it buried in some boxes. <laughs> so I can't wait to play that. So to the DVDs. First for the TV show I got one finally. I've been after this for a while and uh, it was always high price but on Amazon it was down to $38 so I jumped on it and that is the Monsters TV show. Love the show. This horror anthology is insane. Uh, a lot of show, a lot of episodes, and uh, a lot of great little clips from movie, uh, clips from the shows together. Uh, my wife and I started watching this again. Started, you know, right from the very first episode, and we only got through disc one, uh, season one. And there's three discs on each, so there's a lot of episodes. So I think each were a half hour. So I was just very happy to pick up Monsters on DVD. Love that show. All right, now for the DVDs. Uh, I got some dollar DVDs I got from uh, SRS Cinema. First one is uh, Fangoria's Gurzone, the last horror, mo the last horror movie. I heard this is pretty good. Again, I only paid a dollar for it. So if you guys know anything about this movie, let me know. Uh, second I got for a dollar is called Bad Meat. This looked pretty cool. It looked like a type of, uh, uh, I guess there are a bunch of kids, troubled kids that go to a camp and the counselors get infected and they turn into like these rage infected zombie-esque, I don't know, killers. It looked cool. So I picked it up for a buck. And my last dollar DVD is of course uh, The Thing on the Doorstep by H.P. Lovecraft. So that's pretty cool. I've seen uh, Mr. Parker did a review on this a long time ago, so I checked it out. I'm like, all right, this sounds pretty cool. So uh, it's like a dollar, so why not? If it sucks, well, get rid of it, keep the DVD case. Uh, next we have is some um, Full Moon. Full Moon had a huge sale for Valentine's Day, so I picked up uh, Creepazoids. I've seen this before, it's a fun creature type feature, uh, cool creature effect. Uh, next is uh, Totem. Uh, this is just look cheesy as hell. So I gotta get this from the watch. It's like a giant killer Totem Polesque monster. <laughs> All right. Uh, they sent me the wrong movie, and then they finally sent me the right copy, and that is the Killer Eye. They sent me the uh, Halloween Haunt one, which I already own. So they said, you know, keep that, and we'll send you uh, the DVD. So I was very happy. They sent me the original Killer Eye cool cover art. I love that way it looks. So yeah, why not? And last from the full moon, I picked up is the Mega Monsters. This has Zakor the Invader, Kraw the Sea Monster, and Monsters Gone Wild. Uh, this is a 3D set. Three d set. So you got the two full moon giant monster movies, and then you have the uh, Monsters Gone Wild, which I think is like a a, uh, like clips and excerpts from other full moon movies big compilation kind of like the uh, when puppets attack so they got this one so I was very happy to find this in the slim case you get all three in one so that's pretty badass uh, next which is not a full moon this is actually put out by RJL Entertainment and I picked up from Amazon uh, Puppet Master vs. Demonic Toys yes this movie is really bad but it was just a fun bad film uh, Sometime I gotta get this one to watch again. I want to try to get all the the Puppet Masters, but I know after they put out what the eleventh one that's coming out, I hope they put out like a box set. So I'll grab like the box set. And I bet you this will not be on the box set. It never is. They never put the little weird ones in the set. But if they do, great. I have an extra. Uh, next is Night of the Wild. This is an asylum film. I did a review on this. I think on Body Bags. It's a killer dog movie. It was actually decent. Um, they use real dogs. Some of the scenes were CGI'd, 
but the majority of all the dog attacks and everything were real dogs, and they green screened it in and everything. It wasn't bad for a uh, sci-fi asylum movie. I recommend it, especially if you like killer dog movies. Uh, next up, we have some out of print titles. Uh, my first out of print one is Abominable. It actually came with the slip. Uh, this movie is going to crazy prices right now. I did find a cheaper price on uh, Amazon, so I grabbed it up quick. It's an awesome uh, Abominable Snowman type movie, and it was fun. I liked how they did the storyline and everything. I'm glad it came with a slip cover too. I think it was all set up, ready to go. So, yeah. Next is finally got my hands on it. Is Maximum Overdrive. Uh, I spent a little money on it, not too much. I went under my budget. I had a budget for twenty bucks, and I've been wanting this movie for a while. This is the old Anchor Bay edition of Maximum Overdrive. I got it for under 20 on Amazon, which I was very happy. I don't care. My luck now, it's going to get a fucking Blu-ray. <laughs> That's how it works. But it's got the insert and that cool DVD right there. So I was very happy to pick up Maximum Overdrive. It's one of my favorite uh, Stephen King movies. So I was very... Uh, I know Stephen King doesn't like it so much. So I also picked up, because I picked up Maximum Overdrive, I did pick up Trucks. Uh... I think it's like a side movie from Maximum Overdrive. This one's worse. This is kind of like a bad movie. But, again, I don't mind watching some of these once in a while. But I love Maximum Overdrive, so I had to have like kind of like a... If you want to call it a sequel or not to truck to Maximum Trucks. It's not out of print, though, so that Trucks is pretty easy to follow. Uh, my last one that's out of print is The Boneyard. Uh, with Phyllis Diller, Ed Nelson... This movie is wild. I loved it. You got zombie kids. You have a giant mutant poodle. You got a... <laughs> I don't want to spoil it, but one certain actor becomes a giant mutated demon thing. Kind of reminds me of an Evil Dead type background. It was awesome. Uh, if you can get this cheap, find it. Pick it up. It is going for kind of crazy prices right now. I found this on eBay pretty cheap. I think I found it for under 10 bucks, so I picked it up. Well worth the price. Wow, I had so much fun watching that movie. Alright, next I got my first Shameless DVD. This Amsterdam. It's another uh, slasher. Now, my laptop plays some of my Region 2s. For some reason, it will not play this. It comes up with the Shameless title, and then that's it. So I got kind of pissed off. So when I get... Uh, enough funds. I'm buying a region free player and I'm gonna be watching this one sure. Looks badass. Alright, for some other DVDs, I picked up, I found this uh, Wind Chill. Uh, this comes with a weird slip cover, some uh, Walmart exclusive. <laughs> Alright, I've heard some good things about this film. I found it at, I think, an FYE for like two bucks. So I said, you know what, why not? Let's grab it. Uh, next is, uh, Mood recommended this to me, and I watched it, I loved it, and that is The Backlot Murders, uh, it's a slasher from 2002, it takes place on a movie lot, I love the way the killer looks, it's got this weird, uh, Elvis mask thing, uh, some kind of like a rockabilly thing going on, it was great, uh, Priscilla Barnes does a great job in here, and you have Corey Haim. Great film. A lot of kills. A lot of, um, not a lot of gore gore, but it's got some good to it. It's got some good uh, boobs going on as well. Backlot murders. Another slasher that's decent I picked up is Hazard Jack. Uh, this one is a slasher in a, like a abandoned factory or abandoned something. They're a bunch of paintballers. And this guy that's got a uh, post-traumatic war issue going on goes nuts and starts going after everybody and starts killing them. This is a good, this is a fun slasher. I highly recommend this one. Uh, check it out for sure. Hazard Jack. I did pick up. Uh, it's in a freaking snapper case. Another 2002, which is Wishcraft. It's a cool uh, 
supernatural, not supernatural, but more of a, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. Uh, pretty much this guy, this kid in school gets a totem, which happens to be a giant bull dick, <laughs> but he gets three wishes. Well, he makes his one wish about falling in love with a girl that he wants, but also around the same time, jocks and other people are starting to get murdered, but they're getting murdered in weird ways, like someone getting their head chopped off with a, uh, a survival knife. Uh, there's a cool bowling ball scene, but I hate to say it is, a lot of the kills are off screen, which kind of sucks. I would like to see that more, but it was a decent fun watch. I highly recommend checking out Wishcraft if you're into the, the weird uh, slashers from 2002. Again, I hate these snappers because they cut the weird tape on it. So I get that off. Alright. A couple more DVDs to go. Another slasher I picked up called Lover's Lane. I guess it's another Valentine's Day type slasher. I uh, never heard of it. So I, uh, someone posted it, I think, on the Facebook group page. Uh, They're watching a bunch of Valentine's Day movies. And they had this in it. I'm like, what the hell is that movie? So I did a little research, and this looked pretty cool, so I picked up Lover's Lane. I'll give this a watch. Why not? I'll watch stuff that's non Valentine's Day, whatever day. Uh, I did pick up uh, Outpost. I've heard this is a good uh, movie set. I can't wait to give this one a watch. I know it spawned a, two other sequels, so I'll give out Outpost a watch. And last for the DVDs is The Piper. Don't let this cover art fool you. <laughs> It's actually a, a cool little slow burn type movie that's kind of a uh, take on the Pied Piper story. But this guy is trying to get to a uh, town in Korea. I think it's Seoul, Korea he's trying to get to. His son is sick and he meets him in a small town. The small town is very weird. So he decides to uh, you know stay for a while. He helps take care of the rat problem. While the town decides, you know, get back at him and not pay him for what he owed and pretty much screwed him, royalty, and uh, he gets revenge with the rats. I liked it. It was a cool, uh, different take on a movie. Uh, like I said, don't let this cover art fool you. He is an entertainer. That's why he wears, like, a red nose and shit. There's a reason for that. But again, check out uh, The Piper. Cool movie. All right. Uh, I'm going to have to do this in a part two because I have a lot of Blu-rays to go through. So, I'm going to do this in a second set for the Blu-rays. Alright guys, thanks for watching and check out the rest. Thanks. Later.